Today's video is a Valentine's Day inspired makeup tutorial. Well, hey friends, it's Dawn. Welcome back to my channel. If you are brand new to my channel, my name is Dawn. I am an independent beauty consultant with Mary Kay Cosmetics. And on this channel, we talk about all things beauty because in addition to being a Mary Kay independent beauty consultant, I'm also certified in color analysis and as a personal stylist. So I like to kind of mix it up and do lots of different style and beauty things on this channel. And today I have a makeup tutorial for you. Now, if you can't tell from my heart jewelry and my red and white, it is Valentine's Day weekend and I thought it would be fun to bring you a Valentine's Day inspired makeup tutorial. So this look is called Blushing Beauty and I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I am loving this eye look. I think this is gonna go in my regular rotation because it was so quick and easy and I just love how it came out. So if you like this type of content, make sure that you are subscribed to my channel. And if you enjoy the tutorial, make sure you hit the thumbs up and share it with a friend. Well, if you're ready, let's get started. I already have my brows done, which you can see, and I already have my concealer and my foundation on. So um, we're gonna go ahead and get started with the Mary Kay Liquid Eyeshadow in Pink Starlight. And so I'm gonna apply that to my eyelids. And then I'm going to use the Mary Kay Cream Color Brush to blend that in. So I'm trying something new today. I went ahead and tried to zoom in when I was applying um, certain aspects of the makeup. So you guys will have to comment and let me know if you prefer um, this technique of um, you know, zooming in so you can see what I'm doing a little bit better. Um, you know, the longer I have my channel, I'm just really trying to make sure that I'm always bettering it that it's valuable for you when you're watching it. So if you like this, let me know in the comments. And if you would prefer that I just film it all, you know, in the same, um, you know, shot, just let me know, like if you don't want me zooming in and out. So, but anyway, I just applied that um, cream or the liquid eye color. It's not a cream, it's a liquid eye color. Um, and I'm just using the cream color brush to blend that in. I love this liquid eye color. It does come in four shades. Again, this is the pink starlight. So these are super easy for like a one and done makeup look. So I love having them in my collection. All right, next I'm gonna use Mary Kay Chrome Infusion Eyeshadow in Sunlit Rose. And so I am using the Mary Kay Eye Blending Brush and I'm going to just come onto that outer corner of the eye. And then I'm also gonna come along the lower lash lines as well. So kind of creating a little wedge on the outer corner of the eye. And again, just tying it all together, just a little bit underneath. So um, I love these two colors together. I'm not sure that I've ever worn them together before, but this pink starlight with the sunlit rose, it's just so gorgeous. Um, I've actually, you know, um, after recording this, I actually think I'm going to start wearing this, you know, kind of on a regular basis because these colors just go so well together. I think I've said this before in some of my videos, but um, sometimes it's hard for me to see in the camera. So I'm looking in the mirror and I'm looking in the camera. And so if you're 
like wonder like, why am I looking? Um, I'm really just trying to make sure that I get everything evenly blended out. Okay, next up, we're gonna use the Mary Kay Eyeliner in Black. And so I am tight lining here. And I actually saw a um, video, I cannot remember where I saw it. I don't know if it was on YouTube or if it was on, um, you know, Instagram or anywhere, but they were, um, there was a makeup artist that was giving a hint um, or like a tip on how to do your tight line. And you're going to see me do that here. She said, look away from the pencil. I'm not doing it right now, but I'll do it in a second. But look, look away, just like I'm doing right here, and it'll be easier to tight line. So you can hold your lid up and do it, or you can try to look away and then just run that pencil along. So I tight line the eye, and then after that, I decided I wanted to do a little bit along the upper lash line as well. So you can see me doing that here. And now I'm going to use the um, Mary Kay Eyebrow Eyeliner Brush, and I'm gonna just blend that out. So you could definitely use like a smudger brush here if you want like a softer look, um, but I'm just creating, you know, just a little bit of a blended out look. And then I know that it looks so weird on camera, but I like to come up on the outer corner. So when my eye is closed, it looks like I'm just drawing this random like little, not even a wing, but just like this little like, um, you know, mark up. But when my eye is open, that is the point which my eye starts to kind of droop down. So what I want to do is because my eyes are kind of becoming downturned, they're hooded, they're kind of, you know, downturn on that outside corner now as I get a little bit older, I try to find the point where if I create a little tiny lift with my eyeliner, it just gives my eyes a tiny bit of a lifted look. So I know that was a lot, but it's really hard to explain um, when, like I said, when I'm applying it and my eye is closed, it just looks kind of weird like this mark is in a random spot. But I promise you when the eye is open and you're doing it, I'm just lifting just right on that outside corner. So just creates a little bit of lift. So I'm going to finish off the eyes with the Lash Intensity Mascara in Black. You guys know I love this um, mascara. So the wand is, um, there's two sides, well there's four sides to the wand, but two sides are super short bristles, two sides are long bristles. So what you want to do is you want to apply the product to the lashes with the really short side and load up the product. Then you're going to take the longer bristles and you are going to comb the product through to the end of the lash and it's gonna create just really long lashes. I feel like when I wear this mascara, it makes me look like I have falsies on. So that's where you see me, um, again, just using those two sides. So one of the great ways to do it is just apply the mascara, and as you apply it, just twist the wand. So you're getting both sides. You're getting those short bristles and those long bristles. So I um, apply one coat of the mascara here on camera, but I actually did a second coat, which I did not include in the video, just for the sake of time. But when you see uh, me finish here in just a second um, and move on to the next step, I did do two coats of this Lash Intensity Mascara. Okay, next up, I'm gonna apply my Chroma Fusion Blush. So I've always been pronouncing this Rogue Rose, and I saw a video where somebody pronounced it Rouge Rose. So whether it's Rogue Rose or Rouge Rose, I am applying this pink color to my cheeks, and it's just a perfect combination with this eye look. I really like this shade. So you guys know Rosy Nude is my go-to, but this is probably the one that I wear the most often next to that. So just applying that to the cheekbones and just making sure that I blend it out really well. I didn't do it in the video, but you could always add some highlighter to the top of the cheekbones after blending out your cheek color as well.
And to finish off the look, I'm going to apply Mary Kay Supreme Hydrating Lipstick in Coral Confetti. And so this is a beautiful coral shade. It has a little bit of a pink tint to it. Um, so these Supreme Hydrating Lipsticks are just that. They are super hydrating and they feel so good going on your lips. So if you have not tried one of the Supreme Hydrating Lipsticks and you like a moisturizing lipstick, I would definitely say that you should give one a try, add it to your makeup collection. There are um, quite a few colors and we actually have a couple of new colors coming soon. So here is the finished look. What do you think? Well, that is it for the makeup tutorial. This look was quick and easy and I love it. The only thing that I would do different is I would swap out the lip color. The Coral Confetti is a gorgeous color, but it's just not my best shade. So I would swap this out for a pink or a berry or maybe even like a nude like Rosewood. So I think that's always a great idea is to take these tutorials that I do or that you see in a catalog or you know someone else doing and make sure that you take the look as inspiration, but swap it out with colors that are best for you. So if you haven't already followed along with my recent video series. I've been doing makeup for the color codes. So go back and watch the last couple videos I've done. I've got a couple of more for you and you're going to find out what your best makeup shades are. This makeup tutorial would be perfect as is. This look would be amazing on a soft so if you're a soft, I think you should definitely check this out. And if you're a cool, again, I think if you just swap out the lip color for maybe like a pink, that would be perfect. And like with me, I'm a clear, maybe like a berry lipstick would be awesome. So anyway, that is it for the tutorial. Don't forget, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, share it with a friend, and I will see you in the next one. Bye friends. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to check out these other videos.